Hi, welcome to Fix Until Broken. Uh, this is a CRT projector from a rear projection TV uh, that was taken apart uh, here. I'm going to put a video. Um, in the rear projection TV there's three of these. Uh, each, I guess of the three, each of them has a specific color and they mix those colors in a uh, some kind of reflector screen and uh, then it shoots it up to a projection screen so this is usually hidden in the back of the TV um, so this is if you took the TV apart which I did and there's the, the video I'll link it up there now this is what you see uh, and basically from here to here is basically what you would see in an old tube TV because that's exactly what this is, is a cathode ray tube. Uh, so I'm not going to take this apart because obviously this part is uh, under high pressure and there's a couple, probably some toxic chemicals in here. Uh, it's very heavy so I'm sure there's lead. Uh, there's, I think there's phosphorus on the front of the screen as well. Uh, so we'll be taking this part apart. Maybe some of the electronics back there. Um, but there should be some pretty cool lenses in here. Uh, and one of my... Uh, uh, subscribers uh, mentioned that the there's some weird jelly in here so I don't know if I want to squirt that out or not uh, but we're gonna take it apart and see if we can um, at least see what's in there um, so let me uh, readjust the camera and uh, we'll get started okay readjusted the camera a little bit here and Built some kind of uh, wooden jig and a, a little good old bucket. Now that way if anything starts leaking out of this, uh, it'll get caught in the bucket and we want them to clean up a mess. Um, so I'll probably speed some of this up because it's fairly straightforward. There we go. And just ignore this stuff up here. There's a behind there. There's a another project coming up. I'm going to start working on. Okay. Well, we got our lens. Huh. That's going to be pretty neat to play with. Okay. We're going to set that aside and we'll play with that a little bit more. Okay. Now, this is interesting. There's a little metal plate right here. Magnetic, and it kind of goes out toward the middle. Not too sure what that's for. Got a pretty heavy screw on it. Doesn't look like a detector or anything. It's a little metal piece. It's hard to get stuff done. Okay. Yeah, let's bring some. Look at better tool for this. up a chance to use the tools. Yep, the juice just came out. Huh. Okay, I'm not real sure what we're looking at here. Um, there is obviously some kind of goo. This is like oil, probably a mineral oil. Yeah, it doesn't have any smell. This is a pretty beefy metal piece too. We're gonna... I don't know what... Until we know what that liquid is, it's just gonna live in there. Okay. This looks like a concave piece of glass right here. It's hard to see. 
and I'm guessing the underside of it is full of that liquid. Um, I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit. And you can see there's a little channel in there. Um, right in there, there's a little bitty channel that goes under that lens. And this is a that convex. I'm not real sure on my lenses. Um, it's glass. It's obviously uh, pretty fancy. Let's get this set back up. A little. Let's stand this thing back a little bit. Up there. Is that good? Okay. Well, I got my hands dirty already. Let's get a paper towel. Keep these handy. It's looking like this is going to be a mess. So it doesn't smell whatever the that liquid is. So I'm glad for that. Screw it. Yeah, I filled it with liquid too. So the you can see it's just some kind of clear liquid. Um, hmm, what's the best way to get rid of all that? Okay, I'm going to pour this out in a jar, and uh, we'll be back on the video in just a second. Golly, and that's a mess. Okay, and here we are back. Uh, we've spilt uh, the oil everywhere. Uh, we emptied that thing out. Um, it filled up a filled up one of these, even though I spilt a lot of it. Uh, this is I think this is like 12 ounces, maybe eight ounces. But with the amount that I spilt, uh, it's probably easily 12 ounces. Um, Okay, so now we can lift up that little lens. That is a blue lens. So I'm guessing this is the blue color. That's a wild guess. It's got a weird little barcode over here. I'm not sure if I can can't probably see that. And that feels like acrylic now. Um, it's got a little sealing gasket around it, of course, because this was full of oil, so. Um, it's probably necessary. Um, other than that, that's the, uh, that's the front of this thing. Um, it's got some kind of strange purple color. Not sure how well that's coming through on the camera. Very, very strange color. Hoping that's not toxic. Sure to be okay. Um, let's clean this off. It'd be kind of cool to keep. So you can see the. Let's put that aside. You can see right in here. Piece of stuff in there. There's some oil in there still. But that's the actual front of the CRT. That's probably a inch thick glass, and that's 
probably a large chunk of the bulk of this thing. Um, let's see. There's. Yeah, so it's got some brackets back here in the back that hold this piece on. Um, and then this would be just a normal tube. Uh, we could probably take that off too. Um, let's see, it's hard to touch the camera now because it's all oily. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in. And that. Okay, I got a good zoom in on that warning message. It says, warning, the pitcher tube is critical to safety against X-radiation emission. Do not operate the unit, the deflection yoke, without the deflection yoke being closely inserted to the tube. Well, I think we just took the deflection yoke, yoke apart. So, I guess there's no more operating this machine without irradiating myself. Which is good, because I had no plan on irradiating myself anyways. And I think that's probably about the only thing I'm comfortable taking apart. Um, any of the rest of this is just a standard tube TV. Um, you can see there's this right here is electromagnet control. Uh, there's a big capacitor in here somewhere where I can probably electrocute myself, which would be totally awesome. And there's a tube. Yeah, there's a big cap right there. I can hardly see it though. It's not that big. Usually these hold a charge and one little wrong move and you can uh, short yourself out. Well, let me flip that over real quick. Get the other side of it. So right here, a couple little tuning rings you can turn. I'm not sure what the purpose is. There's some more right here. Okay, well I guess that's it for this uh, tube out of a rear projection TV. Uh, as you can see, I have a couple more of them. Um, due to the floor being leaked on, <laughs> I'll probably avoid taking those apart and just uh, uh, dispose of them properly. Um, since these are full of lead, it's complicated to get rid of them. But I'll find a way. Hey, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like some more of my videos, then, uh, or if you'd like to see more of my videos, um, uh, click over. Maybe down there, I'll put some stuff. I'll have to figure that stuff out. Anyways, thanks. Hey, it's me again. Uh, it looks like this spill or mess is uh, drying. Uh, I went back and looked at my videos and. Um, uh, the subscriber that said that the there's liquid in there um, said that it's some kind of mix of propylene glycol and something else, but it looked non-toxic. Uh, it looks water-based, so it is getting cleaned up on its own. Um, the sawdust here uh, probably soaked up any uh, residue. Um, other than that, uh, that's the video, and uh, thanks for watching.